What's going on, Kicksologists? It's your boy Jefferson here on Kicksologists.com, and today I got a video on my prediction of the 2017 NBA Finals. And honestly, I'm just right off the bat, I'm a Laker fan since forever, so whoever wins this finals doesn't really affect me. Now, since I love basketball, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys my prediction on uh, who the winner will be, who will be the champs prediction. So. My prediction is Warriors in six. Golden State is just too much of a powerhouse in my opinion. Um, I think they did a great job this year to seam all the ends together and just work KD into the lineup. And uh, you know there was a few hiccups throughout the season. KD is just on another level. I uh, like I know LeBron James is the greatest player right now. I got Cavs winning two games, possibly one on the road, possibly game one tomorrow. Uh, the so Cavaliers need to do a couple of things to win, I think. Um, one, the most important thing, I think, is uh, defense. Um, the Cavaliers didn't really play great defense during the season, and that showed they, uh, they lost like towards the end of the season, um, whether they were resting players or not, you know, um, this is where they're at. But however, they did flip the switch, you know, a Nike basketball pack kind of plug there. Um, no coincidence, but, and uh, you just got to respect what they're doing and they're playing. They, I think they, I believe they got a better chemistry, um, the Cavaliers, just because they went through a lot of uh, trials and tribulations more so than the, than the, than the Warriors. And I think that that's on their side, um, which is what they're, uh, you know, they got a chip on their shoulder. They're playing as underdogs. But uh, yeah, they definitely got to play defense. They got to switch off those screens and those pick and rolls that Warriors be doing. And uh, um, you just got to lock down. Um, they do not play really good on uh, wing defense, which is what the Warriors, you know, somebody pick and roll, pick and roll, freaking break down the defense and pass it out. You got Klay Thompson either in the wing, you got KD at the wing. Um, you know, you got Draymond at the wing that could hit a three. All these players that could just get buckets. So that's that's going to be a hard part for the Cavs. Also, another thing I think the Cavaliers should do is slow the pace down. Slow it down. Because if you got LeBron James, you know, I think he had like 14 minutes of just possession. Um, that, that brings the Warriors, you know, point and total from like 130 to like 110. And that's something they, uh, the Warriors um, thrive off of is just threes and just more possessions uh, leads to more points. Um, so I think they definitely should hold the ball more, um, slow the game down because that's you know that's something you don't want is the Warriors in transition. You got ball handlers everywhere. You got Iguodala, um, Steph Curry, you got KD. Uh, Draymond could you know handle the ball too, um, just towards the half court. And Livingston, you know, McCaw, you have. Freaking Ian Clark, these guys are not are no scrubs. Macau was a great pickup for the Warriors. So, I, you know, they just gotta have Kyrie, you know, hold the ball too, and um, just you know, use as much time on the on the shot clock. I believe if you know if they're up. Um, and three, I think Tristan Thompson needs to thrive off the boards. That he has to get those uh, rebounds. I think he's a very versatile uh, on defense because he could switch off, um, you know, off the pick and roll. Um, he's proven that he could guard Steph in the uh, in the playoffs, so uh, he's definitely be a vital part. And if you could get like 10 points from him, that would be great. Uh, give him the ball, you know, and he had developed like a little floater, like psh, easy work for the Cavs. So I still think um, the Warriors could do it. Um, I think all the pressure is on the Warriors, not on the Cavs. I think the Cavs, like I said, they got better chemistry. Uh, they're playing like like it's you know and we're going in. Um, LeBron loses this finals. It's cool. He he brought it. He brought the chip to Cleveland. You know, um, he did the impossible, which is when if you do the impossible, there's no pressure anymore. That's my that's my pick. Warriors in six games. I definitely think Cavaliers have a shot. A huge shot. Um, I think I'm 60% Warriors and 40% Cavs. Like I said, it doesn't matter to me who wins or not or, or who loses. Um, Laker fan all day. And um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. And um, yeah, man, enjoy these finals. Thank you guys for um, um, watching this video. Hopefully, hopefully I didn't take too too much of your time. So till next time, guys, thank you guys for watching. Uh, follow us on kicksologist.com. My name is Jefferson. Yeah. Y'all can follow me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Jefferson with three R's. Until next time, guys.
one time TV. We out. Deuces.